Hello and welcome to the Principles of Programming series. Today we're going to go over Chapter 3, the Java Labs. Uh, they consist of Java 3-1 and 3-2. So before we get started, uh, just remember to pay attention to your punctuation, spacing, your syntax is very important. Any little mistake will cause you to uh, have to stare down the code and correct it, but we'll do our best. All right, so if you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're not yet a subscriber. So the Java 3-1, uh, the first assignment, or the first code we're going to work on today is using flowcharts and pseudocode to write a Java program. So let's dive into it. You'll see some markings on this assignment as we did it before. And I tried to erase it, but it left the task there, but we'll never mind that. So if we look at our code, we'll see that it's been started. First part we're going to do is declare the variables. And it says declare two string variables named test score string and class rank string. So let's do that here. And we're declaring a string, but we're going to use capital S. Clearing strings, and we'll use our camel cut casing for our variables. So string test score string string and semicolon because we're back on Java. Okay, next line integer small i test score and semicolon. Move down to our next line. We got another string. And that one's going to call class rank. Class rank string. Two integers. So we're putting in task two in with task one. Uh, declare two integers variables named test score and class rank. So we'll put it in between. Integer and it's going to be class rank. Colon or semicolon. All right, so this task one and task two is complete. Let's go down to task three. While the uh, write the interactive input statements to retrieve a student's test score, test score and class rank, which is class rank, from the user of the program. Do not forget to prompt the user for the test and score and class rank. So, all right, so we can look at our pseudocode. Get our variables. Let's see what we're looking at with the code already, what they already provided for us. Test scores, they got that. Test scores, test score, class rank, class rank. Two options. So we got to put it here. Test using submission. Let's move these variables up here. Hope you guys caught that. If not, all I'm doing is putting the variables in the correct place. I put them where we're supposed to have our output, our input. So now for our user input, get input and convert to correct data type. So let's do that here. So the first one is should be able to copy that test score string. Uh, and we're going to equal. Let's use our J option pane. So capital E, yeah, that's J option pane. So we're going to point to show input dialog. Semicolon on the outside. 
semicolon goes here, and that clears up those faults. Let's bring our cursor back to the beginning. Next test score. Test score. No string this time. Let's go to equal integer. Just change these to class rank string, string string. Uh, still going to be J option pane dot show output show input dialog. So basically, what this is doing is it's already going to a dialog is already made. I'm just pointing to that, so we don't have to redo that that this text or this uh, code. All right, the message this time is going to be enter students class rank. So this is test score, it's class rank. All right, so here we go, class rank. And then down here, test score is going to be class rank. Class rank. Good, the king of case. And it stays the same, class rank string instead of test score string. should come up when we run it. Hopefully we get that to come up. And so the dialog box yet. So we're looking at the code and I did get the second two the command but I noticed uh, when I did this assignment the first couple times, the Java, uh, for whatever reason, this one will not pass the string. And as you can see, we declared the variable string test score string and string class rank strings uh, straight. So they're telling us that we didn't declare uh, <laughs> declared it, didn't declare them. Unable to find string test scores in the program. Error. So yeah, I believe that's that's an issue with the software. I'm pretty sure that is correct. But like I said, if you can figure it out, that's great. You'll get extra points. But if you do this and you get 77.78%, uh, I know you did it correctly. Uh, if I happen to find anything that sh shows it done or been able, able to solve that one, I'll go back and do it. But in the meantime, continue on forward. Don't lose yourself in that assignment. And uh, let's go on to our next one. So, so on, on the Java, Java chapter, chapter 3-2 lab, lab, which deals with writing a module, module program in Java. Java. So let's, let's go, go ahead into, into it and look what we're starting start with, with with our code. code. So we've got variables already declared. declared. And, and up top, top as, as usual, you see they have the comment it. They comment it in Java. There's two ways you can do it. You can use the double slashes. That's for one line. And every time you use a line, you start with double slashes. You want to do multiple lines, you do a slash with the asterisk, and then an asterisk with a slash to end it. And that way you can do multiple lines instead of slash, 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 slash. All right. So let's look at our task. So we want to write the simulated housekeeping function that contains the prompts and input statements to retrieve a year, a month, and a day from the user, include the output statements in the simulated and the job function. So what we'll do is on here, we'll be doing a lot of uh, copy and paste, or a little bit of copy and paste. 
This is the this work of the housekeeping house method. method. Get, Get your year. Let's, Let's see how we're going to approach that, that one, one by, by starting with skip space. space. <clears throat> and go, go with year string. Year string. So here's what our variables already are. Year string. Month string, day string. So that's, so that's basically, basically what we're going off if you wonder where I got that from. All right. And why it auto filled for me. So let's go to our J option again. J option pain. That show input. So basically, this is to show input without a dialog box. Copy, copy and paste, paste this twice. twice. You'll, You'll see, see what I'm getting at. It'll, It'll save this in time. So now, now instead of here, we're going to do month, month and day. day. Next, we're going to convert, convert, these, convert, these, convert these, strings these strings to integers. integers. So, so by, by doing, doing that, that, we'll use same thing year, year, month, day. Year equals int. Integers to integer for system. Integer. And then dot. Semicolon. I'm sure we got this first one right. The first one's not right. The rest of them are wrong. Copy and paste that twice. And do month and day. Month here. And month here. Day here. This, this is the work, work of the detailed detail method. method. Check, check to make sure your data is valid. Let's go check, check that. Out. I don't think there's nothing there. I think I need about the statements. Only thing I left to do. And yeah. So, so what do we want to do to print out? Let's go here. Okay, so, so anytime you go out with statements in Java, I'll start, start with. So it's going to be system, system out print, print line. line. Always going to start with that. that.
month. Space plus space. So this one's going to be uh, and I'm going to put the slash in between those quotations. Slash another space plus day. Quotations, quotations are, are because we're, we're, the, day the day and month, month is picking, picking up from, from uh, declared variables. The slash, slash itself, itself is that, that if you put an asterisk there, it'll put an asterisk, asterisk, asterisk between, between the month, month and day and year. year. But instead, instead, we want a slash. slash. That's, that's why that's a quotation. All right. right. So, so plus year. And because there's no slash after year, there's not going to be another quotation. Yeah. So we're just going to go plus. We're going to use the words space is invalid date. And quotations, and let's do our semicolon. All right, everything looks good on there. And in another output statement, this is else. So you guys got to go to the invalid date. So what we'll do is copy this. Control C, go here, enter, and Control V, and change and add invalid. Uh, All right, so there's our output statements. Let's see if we can get this one blasted out again and make sure this goes through. Now I'm going to start with this one, 2014 532. Let's run it first and see if our dialog box comes down here. And it did the bad date. Okay, so it should say enter month. I'm going to look at this again and see if I get this correctly. So, looking at it, thing still looks in place. I don't see anything. It's hard to see if it was, but I'm just going through just to make sure if anything jumps out at me. I'll change it. Could be my Java on this on this program that happened the last time. All right, so same thing. If you did the code like that, you should get it. Still get a hundred percent. If you're able to, I think my Java on some of these programs won't allow me to do the output dialog box when I do it in Java on the uh, on the actual IDE. It does come up allow me to do it. So if the code is right, it'll give you the green hundred percent. Test one green. All right, so that's it with that one. And like I said, any of these I'm having issues with. If you do them, uh, if you did what I did, uh, you'll get full credit for it, even if it doesn't. I'll see it on there. And usually, what I'll do, uh, usually towards the end of the month, in, in August, September, and October, I go through and I check the ones that I couldn't verify. If I find something new, I'll share it with you. But you'll still get credit, uh, full credit for it, even if you if it doesn't compile or if something's wrong that I didn't show you. Uh, all right. So, but the code looks like it's correct. I don't see anything wrong with it. So we'll move on to the next assignment. All right, thanks for joining. Please smash the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.